Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason and I'll be bringing you today's episode. As always, please hit the like and subscribe button so we have a ton of content coming out for you guys every single week. We don't want you to miss a thing. Our usual shout out of appreciation to our patrons. All those tips of support are highly appreciated. It's only going to go towards making the channel better. We're hoping to add a lot more games to the channel such as roulette, video kino, video poker, uh, uh, carnival games, things along those lines. We just want to do it right, it's going to be very expensive, so it's going to take some time. You could help us out if you wanted to. If not, no big deal. We appreciate you guys just tuning in. But if you're curious about it, go ahead and check the description down below this video on, uh, on the patronage. And for our patrons, we do hope you are appreciating those patron-only exclusive videos we're putting out for you guys every single week. If you have anything you'd like to see, just email us on the site. We're more than happy to film it for you. As for the rest of you, Please continue tuning in. We have, like I said, a ton of content coming out. And if you have any suggestions, questions, strategies, anything related to craps, baccarat, blackjack, pie gal, casinos, Vegas in general, just go ahead and shoot us an email at sincelivinglv at gmail.com. We absolutely love to shoot these videos for you guys. It is our favorite thing to do. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into today's video. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about come bets and don't come bets. This is coming from one of our fans. They asked this question, either in one of the comments or in an email, I can't remember which. And they were talking about a continuous um, come bet or don't come bet. So instead of a two or three point molly, just an infinite molly basically, just continue, continue going with it all the way through. So I want to cover this in two different aspects, without odds and with odds. So first off, starting at without odds, the viability of continuous come bets. Let's pretend we're on a $10 table. We'll do it this way. So every time a number rolls, you're going to travel to that number. And if you're not doing odds, it's just going to stay there as a flat bet. Now the thing about the come bet, it's locked in. It's just like a pass line bet. It is a contract bet until a decision has been made, win or lose. So now that is locked into the nine. So then you have another come bet out, say six rolls locked into the six. Another come bet out. Let's say a nine rolls. You're going to get paid. it will be what we call off and on. This is getting paid. This basically came off, got paid. This came on. Nothing changed, so we don't actually move them. We just pay it off and on. And so at that point, you would get paid. Otherwise, any other number, you're going to travel again. And continue traveling. Now, people that bet the come bets, they're looking at one, two, one of two different possibilities. Possibility number one is they are doing it as a theoretical hedge against a seven. They'll at least get paid that $10. A little $10 hedge against a seven to make less money on the rolls that actually pay you is a very poor hedge. It's a, it's, it's a terrible idea. As, as, a, as the idea is a hedge, it's a horrible idea. This is not protecting you against a seven. It's 10 whopping dollars. If you're worried about $10, bet $10 less. It's a wash. You're the same. Either way. So. Um, as a hedge, again, horrible idea. The second possible idea behind come bets is that you want to be able to take advantage of odds. Now, if you're not playing the odds, then you're not taking advantage of anything. So if you do come bets without odds, you are, are wasting your time. It's not a good idea. You're much better off just doing place bets. And if you want to wait for the, point to, to, for the dice to tell you what number to place, by all means, just place whatever number just rolled. Um, we always make the joke of it pays you better if you bet it before it rolls, but that's kind of the idea with come bets is you're hoping a number rolls twice. That's the only way you get paid. The first time you don't get paid, the second time you'll, you'll get paid, um, which is again another reason most of us prefer for place bets. Now the ultimate goal for a come better is that they get what we call bases loaded and then they still have their come bet out. At this point, Every single time one of these numbers rolls, they're just going to get paid. Now, since they're not doing odds, they're just going to get paid the flat bet, $10 every single time. Let's say there's a winner, winner eight. This would travel, so they would still have all their numbers. They wouldn't do a come bet. They would just wait. Let's say the nine rolls, so they would get paid on that. They would collect, and they would keep their $10 out. So they continue to have a continuous, um, continuous come bet. Okay. You might as well just do a $10 pass line bet, so you, it's the same thing, so that way you're also covered on point. Um, and this is, this is the goal. The goal is to get all the numbers uh, uh, covered. You can do the same thing with the don't pass, where you're trying to get B 
behind every number. Only now, you only get paid on one roll, and that's a seven. But if a seven rolls, you get paid on all of them. Whereas with the other numbers, you only get paid if that number rolls. In this case, if the number rolls, you lose. The continuous don't come bets are a really bad idea because if you catch a hot roll, you get wiped out. This, it's hot rolls that I see don't come players get wiped out when they're doing non-stop don't comes. Most don't come players will only do a two or three point molly for that exact reason. If the shooter is hot, they just back off. They just back off and they wait for the next shooter. They might even wait two shooters before they start betting again. Um, so for the don't come, bad idea, have a stopping point for yourself somewhere so you don't end up flushing your entire, ba entire bankroll down into one shooter. Uh, really bad idea. So now let's look at it if you have odds. So if you're going to do odds, and you're going to do, um, if you're going to do odds, let's say you, you traveled, you've managed to travel to all of them, right? So what kind of odds should you do? Well, if you've watched our come bet versus place bet video, you'll know that come bets are inferior to place bets unless you're at a 10 times odds or better establishment, in which case then you need to do max odds. Otherwise, again, you're losing money versus if you were to play place bets. You're much better off with, if you're only gonna do 10 or $20 worth of odds on your $10 come bet, you're much better off putting that 20 or $30 total bet onto a place bet. You're going to make more money, either the same or more money on every single number. It's only when you hit the 10 times mark, so $100 in odds on a $10 flat bet, that you start making more than you would if you were doing a place bet. So again, you're better off, unless you've got a hefty bankroll to do max odds, you are much, much, much better off doing this with place bets instead of with the come bets. But if you were going to do the max odds, if you're on a 20 times table, then absolutely you want to do the max odds. But again, you need a hefty bankroll to do this. But if anything rolls at this point, when you are bases loaded, you are sitting pretty good. I mean, if a four rolls, you're going to get paid $410 off and off 410 every single time. If a five rolls, if a four or a 10 roll, if a five rolls, you're going to get paid $310 every single time. If a six rolls, you're going to get paid $250 every single time. You guys see where this is going. It's pretty decent. It's pretty good. It does pay you better than if you had place bets out of the equivalent amount, $210 on each, each one of these numbers, which, by the way, is a proper bet on every single number. Um, now, does this mean that, that combats can't win? Absolutely not. I have seen people that play the combats that do absolutely fantastic. I have seen people, and they don't have to do max odds. I've seen people that do combats. And they just start out with $10 odds. Now, again, they're making less than they would as place bets, but you're still making money. So come bets are not a terrible bet. Don't, don't get me wrong when I, when I say that you're better off with place bets. Come bets are not a terrible bet, not in the least. So I, I have seen roles where I, I was part of actually an hour and 20-minute roll, hour and 15-minute roll, where we had a lady that was doing come bets. She started out with $10 odds. And then after she did an off and on a couple times, after about 15 minutes of the roll, she bumped up her odds to, uh, to a quarter. Right? We were at a 20 times odds place. So then she bumped all of her bets odds up to a quarter. And then eventually she bumped them up to $50, about 40 minutes into this roll. And I don't think she ever, I don't recall her ever hitting $100 odds. I remember her odds were always green. She may have bumped up to 275 on some numbers, but I think 50 was where she settled down at. Um, started doing $15 flat bets with 50 or uh, 75 odds. And when this roll finally ended, this lady that had bought in for a couple hundred dollars colored up something around 1,900 bucks. So yes, you can make money, and this is going to make you money if you catch a good roll. It's just not going to make you as much money as if you were doing place bets. Um, that, that same role, we did have someone that was doing place bets that were, was doing some, some presses and stuff like that that colored up like seven or $8,000, and which means they were doing very minimal uh, presses. We had someone else who was just doing the same bets that colored up about the same as her because their place bets were much smaller. She had like, say, $60 in action here. They had maybe 
a $24 place bet or $18 place bet. They just kept saying betting, saying betting, saying betting. Um, so they ended up coming up approximately the same as her, maybe a little bit less or within a couple hundred bucks. Um, so it, you know, it, it definitely depends on, on how you choose to play as well. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with the continuous. The continuous you are hoping for the hot roll. You know, a, a come better's worst nightmare is to load the bases and then a seven out. Basically, every number rolls once and once only. That is a come better's absolute worst nightmare. That's just going to crush them just about every single time. So I hope you guys enjoy this find it illuminating, fascinating, interesting, or at least amusing, and we thank you very, very much for tuning in. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now.